Okay, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to save and print your ePattern. This is a very, very simple tutorial, but first of all, you're going to need to download the print templates. Okay, so simply click on Download Print Template, save it to your desktop. It comes as a zip file, you can see it downloading here. To open a zip file, you're going to either need to download, if you're a Windows platform, WinZip or also um, 7-Zip. The Mac should automatically open it for you, so let's just simply go to our desktop. The reason why it's in the zip folder is because it contains many different files. So let's just double click, and that should open it. We have our print templates. So first of all, we have A0, A1, A2, A3, A4, and US letter print templates. Let me just get rid of this. So let's begin. I have here my Suzy Blue Chevron Seams um, E pattern, which I've then customized. Let's just open this up. So once again, um, obviously, how do I get this from my computer onto a full-scale um, multi-page PDF that I can then print out, cut it out, and then start constructing my garment? It's very, very simple. So all I'm going to do is simply go to File, in Illustrator, Open, go onto my desktop. Uh, let's go to the print templates. Now I have a A4 printer. I'm in the UK. I don't have a US letter um, printer, but I have A4 and A3. Uh, so I could select any one of these and that would work on my printer. So obviously this is quite important which one you use. It depends what kind of printer you have. Uh, generally, yeah, most printers do A4 and US letter. If you want to take your pattern to a print shop, if it's quite a large pattern, um, instead of having to piece together 50 or so pages, you could always put it on an A0 print template, take it to your local print shop and get them to print it out for you. And we also have a tutorial that shows you how to print your, your let's say, your PDF uh, to full scale. And uh, we provide a link to that at the bottom of this tutorial on this page, which will show you how to then um, correctly scale your patterns to then print. But I won't go into that now. So for the time being, I'm going to open up my A4 print template, because I'm going to print this at home. Click Open. And here you have our template. Okay, it's quite large. Um, it's huge, in fact. The reason why is because um, it's better to have more pages than less. That way we can remove the pages rather than add more. Um, so I now have my A4 print template open. I also have my pattern open. I'm simply just going to use my big selection tool. I'm going to click and drag. So I select all of my pattern. And I'm just going to go Edit, Cut. And I'm doing Edit, Cut because then I can see that I'm not leaving anything behind. Um, if I were to go Edit, Copy, there might be something left behind if it's been locked down. So just make sure, let's go back, um, make sure you go Object, and then you have, you make sure you click Unlock All. Now mine is grey, which means everything is unlocked. So just Unlock All, then Select with your big selection tool, and then we can just go Edit, Cut, or Copy. Let's go Copy, and then we're going to go to A4 Print Template, and I'm just going to paste it in just by going Edit, Paste. Okay, I'm now simply going to click and drag this until it fits the best possible configuration for as few pages as possible. Uh, by that I mean you can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six pages here. I want to try and make it fit in that space if I can. Uh, you might sometimes have to go over into other pages, but just try and arrange it just so it fits nicely. You can also um, actually rotate these. If you have a look, if you click with the big selection tool, you can click and then in the corner here, click and drag, you can rotate to then make it fit a little bit um, nicer, let's say. So move them around, um, you know, rotate them, position them, do whatever you need to do to try and make them fit within those, within as few pages as possible. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so once we've kind of like lined our pattern so that it fits within the minimal amount of pages, we now have to get rid of all of these other pages because if we save this or print it, these pages will be printed and saved in the document. So to get rid of these pages and just to see these six here, we're going to go to File, Document Setup, click that, or you can go Command, Alt and P for the shortcut and click Edit Artboards. Now this allows you to select these artboards independently and you also have this text here that says uh, Artboard 13 for example. So let's just go down to the bottom of my page and let's just click and then hit my backspace. Backspace, backspace, they should all delete in order. So just delete as you go along, delete, there we go keep deleting. Now this works in rows, so be careful you don't delete uh, one that you actually need. If you do, just simply go Edit, Undo, Delete Artboard, and then simply click on the top one, Delete, Delete, Delete. Okay, to then finish editing your artboard, simply get your big selection tool and then click off. And that will then, you, cannot no, you can no longer then edit your artboards. So as you can see, we have our pattern. <coughs> 
and it's nicely placed on these six pages. So now, also don't worry about this information here, because it's not on the artboard, it won't print, it won't save, it's just completely redundant information. So now, I'm simply going to save this as a multi-page PDF. I'm just going to go File, Save As, let's go to our desktop, and we can call it, instead of A4 Print Template, we can call it Suzy Blue Chevron oops, Chevron Bodice. And instead of AI, which is an Illustrator file, <coughs> we can go down to the bottom here and we can just simply click PDF. Uh, then let's save it in a folder. Let's put this as Custom Patterns, or even, if you've got multiple clients, Suzy's Custom Patterns. Create. And then let's just save it as a PDF. Save. And here you'll be presented with a dialog box. Now, this is quite fun. You can actually add some encryption to this so people can't um, edit your pattern. So let's just go um, preserve Illustrator editing capabilities. It's always handy to have. Embed page thumbnails and create um, a a Acrobat layers for top level layers. Don't worry about any of this. Just, just leave this as it is. We can go to security. If you want to lock this with a password, you can go require a password to open document. Type in your password. And then um, you can also add user password to restrict editing security and permission settings. And then it just depends what you're allowed to do. So you can say printing, yes. We'd like people to print this but not edit it. So we just put printing allowed, high resolution. Changes allowed, um, none. So no changes can be done to this document. And also we can stop them or prevent them from copying any logos or any other kind of content on that page. But also it's very important that we do enable text access. It just means that people with slightly hard of uh, part of seeing can actually uh, edit, or sorry, not edit, but access this document's content. And let's just click Save PDF. And we have also up here we have Illustrator Default. You can have its smallest file size if you need, but to be fair, this document, because it's just vectors and lines, it's going to be absolutely tiny. So don't worry about changing the settings here. Let's just go Illustrator Default and then click Save PDF. And we also need our password to save that document. Let's click OK. And we do it again. <laughs> this always happens. Okay, let me just try that again. Okay, let's cancel that. Sorry about this. This should normally go a bit smoother. Let's re-enter these. Save. Unique. Ah, okay. There must be different passwords in that case. So, permissions. I mean, this might be a little bit too much for you. You don't have to do this. It's just if you want to send this out and not have anyone play with it. Okay, there we go. It's saved. So let's just check on our desktop. Let's have a look. Susie's custom patterns. Let's open this up. Okay, it's restricted. And now you can see we have our pattern as a uh, multi-page PDF, which is fantastic. Okay, so that's simply how we save our pattern. To, for other people to then print off. If we want to then print it ourselves, we could either, within the Illustrator file, click File, and then let's go to Print. And then obviously we would have, let's see, uh, yep, yeah, HP Office Just 6700 is my printer. Copies one, range, we want the whole range, one to six. Um, forget this, orientation, auto rotate. And then we also have do not scale. This is very, very important. We have a document that shows and explains how to actually print your patterns, but I'm also going to go through it here. So make sure you are not scaling your document at all. If you change it to fit page, then obviously the dimensions of your garment or the, your pattern will change, which means your garment will not fit. So make sure this is do not scale. And then you can simply click print. And it will start to print as individual A4 pages, which you can then cut and piece together to form your full pattern. Once again, we have a tutorial, um, a paper document that explains how to do this, and that is linked. Uh, we link to that at the bottom of the tutorial page, which is here. It's just at the bottom, below your tutorial, tutorial overview. Okay, so that's it. Very simple. If you have any questions, please uh, feel free to comment below, or also email us at info um, at patternlab.london.